Good Sunday morning to you. Glad you're with us. August 7th, I'm Susan Hendricks. And we start with an unwind manhunt for the person suspected in a quadruple murder in Ohio ends in Kansas, more than 600 miles away from where it occurred. General Langley will now take over the U.S. Africa Command, overseeing America's military presence across 54 countries. First four-star general for U.S. Marine Corps. Now we move on. President Biden and the First Lady will tour flood-ravaged parts of Kentucky tomorrow. At least 37 people were killed, entire communities wiped out, and they... Time to dust off the backpacks and fill them with new school supplies. But how can you set your child up for success in the classroom a new year without breaking the bank? Here to tell us about it, Ted Jenkins. The parents should do if they haven't already to get organized to send their kids back to school considering the higher prices. Yeah, well, good morning, Susan. The first thing that I think I have several Elmer's glues, <laughs> sticks and the squeeze bottle. So now parents have set aside in the years past if they have budgeting for their kids going back to school. But right. this year they find it even more difficult because of the price hikes. Absolutely. I mean, inflation, all of these ways can save you money. But most importantly, if you're going to shop online, get a price comparison tracker tool. Mm -hmm. If you're an Amazon shopper, and I know you are, yeah. uh, camelcamelcamel.com is a great honor. And it does it for you, right? It does the it automatically. Cost. This is just free savings just by installing the tool. And speaking of savings, we could all use it when shopping for clothes if your child doesn't wear a uniform. I wish mine did. They don't. <laughs> So how do you stock up on new clothes without breaking the bank too? So one of the biggest, so if you're shopping on a budget, this might be a way to sort of uh, ask someone who works there who's in the know and they'll tell you when the sales are. A absolutely. Target is a great example. Ted, as always, thanks so much. Thank you. Eight were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Coy's with me, as you may know, he played nine seasons in the F NFL. So you know so much about what goes into becoming a Hall of Famer, and to get that yeah. is just such an honor, right? Yeah, and it's, it's this huge mountain to climb. Yeah. I mean, there's about 23,000 players who played in the NFL. It's special stuff, and kudos to those guys for stopping and, and having a sip. So cute, quite thing. Uh-huh. So a Minnesota woman loses her case against her pharmacist. Their personal <laughs> hype pup all Good season. Good point. We should all have one, shouldn't we? On the yeah. set here, too. Quite thank you. Yeah. Now to a slithering problem. It's invading Florida's ecosystem. That does it today for Weekend Express. Thanks so much for being with us. Be sure to come back tomorrow morning. Morning Express with Robin Mead, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Up next, don't miss it. For